All right, in this morning's HealthCast, diet and lifestyle play a really big role in preventing heart disease. But new research finding a higher number of cases are caused by genetics than previously thought. Local 10's Christy Krueger shares the story of one South Florida woman who had not one, but three gene mutations that put her heart health at risk. Yanice Davis first began having heart issues in 2018 when she was only 38 years old. I was at work one day and my heart began to beat fast and I felt like I was going to pass out. One year later, Yanice underwent testing. It revealed she had three genetic abnormalities that were damaging her heart to the point where she would need a transplant. I cried, I cried, I cried and you know, thank God the doctor was sim um, sympathetic. You know, she was like, you know, it's okay, it does happen, but we're going to work through this. As a community, the genetic predisposition to heart failure is probably not identified as it should be. It's very much under-recognized. Dr. David Snipoliski, a heart failure specialist with Cleveland Clinic Weston, says if there's no evident cause for heart failure, genetic factors certainly need to be investigated, especially when there is a family history. Ultimately, we know that the natural progression of some of these genetic mutations, not all, is that they could be quite progressive and these patients can potentially really do poorly in a matter of weeks to months per se. Yanice had a heart transplant surgery late last year and for the first time in years can walk a flight of stairs without losing her breath. No, I've gone through, you know, it's an experience <laughs> one to really talk about. It, it's a lot, but you know, I'm thanking God that I'm here today. Now, a study by Swedish researchers found that genetic risk accounts for approximately 30% of all heart disease cases. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger.